Let's talk about post-processing. Let's talk about post-processing resin 3D prints and when is the best time to sand them. You know, when you print something with supports, you remove the supports, and even if you do like a really, really good job, you usually have a little bit of sanding to do. I hate sanding, bro. It's ridiculous. It is time consuming and painful. Because I was doing it the way that I saw everybody else do it, which was you take your print off the build plate, you wash it, you cure it, and then you sand. And that makes a hot mess. So I discovered a much easier way to do it. And it's really not different, it's just when you do it that's important. Let's check it out. So I just pop those prints off the build plate and I'm going to go ahead and do an initial rinse. I always do a dirty rinse and then a clean rinse on all my resins. It's just kind of what I do. You could do this with a single rinse. It really doesn't matter to this process. And this is Soriatech Blue Nylon Black. It's my go-to resin for fishing lure bodies or anything that is more functional in use. It has a little bit of give. Uh, it's very strong. It's just a great all-around resin for functional prints. So we're just in the initial rinse. Nothing too exciting. All right, I'm just gonna pull off the supports. Now you can make this somewhat easier and better if you uh, heat these up with like a heat gun or something, but I'm gonna kind of go worst case scenario here. Give it one more quick rinse. And you can see what I have here. I have these kind of, these, these little bumps kind of all over the place. So now all you do is get your, I use some, uh, what is this? 400 grit wet dry sandpaper. Dip that in your denatured alcohol, dip your lure body in there, and just kind of lightly sand it. What you'll find is you don't need hardly any motion at all. The other nice thing about doing it this way, wet, is that all the dust gets captured in, you know, whatever your cleaning solution is. It doesn't go flying into the air, right? Because uncured resin in your lungs, not a good thing, bro. All right. Now see, I just kind of barely touched it there. Did not go hard at all. And it is now perfectly smooth. Maybe one little bump there. And so it's gonna come in and boom. And it's gone. So you see it's super easy, gets a nice finish. And that's it. Rinse it off in your dirty rinse and you'll be good. So let's compare to an already cured piece of the same resin. It's another lure body I was working on. Got these um, bumps here. So I have a chow call all over my gloves. But when I go in and sand this, even with the same wet dry sandpaper, it's much harder to sand and I get a much less than ideal surface finish really. It sands pretty well because this resin sands nicely as it is, but it's much more difficult to get a great finish and you can see all of the resin flowing around the air, not that good. And so even after sanding it, again, that is about as much as I sanded the other one, I still have a less than ideal surface finish, even if I come in here and rinse it, which, you know, if you've already kind of cured it, you really don't want to kind of come back and rinse if you don't have to, but you can see it's still got bumps, still have imperfections, I still have issues. And this guy that's dried, you know, obviously the surface is a little rougher because I've sanded it, but it's perfectly smooth like a baby bottom. All right, guys, that's it. Super easy, quick one today. You just run this through your regular process of, uh, you know, cleaning it and curing it, and you're good to go with whatever you want to do. Take care, tight lines.